The next step is to take out the hard drive. This netbook came equipped with two kinds of hard drives as options. One of them was a hard disk drive, the other one was a solid state drive. And I believe they both mount in the same bracket, the same kind of bracket. But the hard drive, hard disk drive, is much bigger than the solid state drive. So they just look different. So the first thing we need to do is take out the USB board connector, and that's this white cable here. That uses a ZIF or zero insertion force connector, so you grab the little black tab, or it can be a different color, but this one's black, and flick it up with your finger. Now, be very careful you don't grab the motherboard, because you can short it out or damage it. So flick it up, and then the cable on this one is actually taped down to the hard disk drive, or the solid state drive mount. So you have to break the tape loose, and then carefully remove the cable from the connector without damaging it. The next thing we do is release the low insertion force connector, or lift connector, on the solid state drive. You flick that up, just like a zip connector, and then the cable's free. But the cable on this one is a very short cable, so you can't really take it out. So that then, we have to go straight to taking out the screws. There's one here, and one down here. They are, I've already removed them. So we have to grab this little tab here. Let me show you the tab. There's a tab right here on this particular mount. And that's, you can carefully grab that with your finger and kind of pull up on it. And then try to guide the mount out. And it's very hard because you have to maintain this angle and then remove the cable without breaking that and the whole works it has to come out like I hooked on the and the other thing is it can get hooked on the USB connector down here so it has to kind of come straight up and then you can set it aside